Coach Lou here with another film breakdown episode, okay? I know it's a Thursday, all right? No NFL team has played. No college team has really played. So what could it be? What's better? High school football and in Texas. We got a film breakdown of Texas high school football and how they can implant the two-quarterback RPO system right now, all right? Third play of the game for South Lake Carroll in green. All right, let's play it through for everyone, okay? Now, I already know what happens. It's a great play. Here we go. Watch this. Inside zones. Six-yard hit, or ten-yard hit, or curl, and he's gone. He scores. All right, but let's go back. Let's go back and just show you exactly what they could do. Okay? Pause it here. Tight end, wide receiver. All right, two receivers at the top. Cool. All right? They're going inside zone. So the tight end is the only guy that's possible to run a route for this second quarterback, if this was a second quarterback, not a running back. All right, so we give this guy a pop pass, all right, right in the middle of the field to make these linebackers commit on the run, or if they stay back on his pop pass, now this second quarterback or this running back now has a bigger yards, all right? Quarterback still makes his read. You still have this receiver run his curl, his 10-yard curl downfield, but you add with the tight end a pop pass, give this guy a read, all right, so now he has the ability so once he is given the ball in a handoff, throw it. All right. Let's fast forward. Great job, number six, for scoring a touchdown. Okay. Everyone's cheering. Looks great playing in an NFL stadium. We'll be there one day. Trust me. Okay. So here we go. They're going to show us an end zone cam right now. All right. So as you see, this is his read man. All right. The tight end took takes two steps inside and then he blocks them. So they might have told him pre-snap, look, throw the curl, we want those yards. We would rather get that curl because it was third and six when he hit the yards, all right? But if he ran a pop pass right in the middle, the linemen are allowed three yards in high school, okay? If he had a pop pass in the middle and we gave him the ball if this lineman did a better job blocking, now we could have easily got a bigger gain also by the second quarterback getting the ball and throwing a little pop pass over the middle for this tight end. Now, yeah, he still scored, okay? Maybe the DB should have had the tackle. All right, let's be honest. But adding that tight end pop pass to give this guy, a, the, the second quarterback, a read on the inside zone just makes it that much better. All right, here's the next play. All right, last play. We're back, 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 back. We're back with South Lake Carroll, okay? They run way more RPOs than Highland Park, okay? Outside zone left. They're going outside zone left. You know how I love me some outside zone. All right? One guy, just one guy has to run a route and you'll be cool. Now, since you have this receiver split out like crazy, it's pretty obvious he can't run an out or a corner. I mean, yeah, he can run a nine, but there's still no room on the sideline. So you could run almost uh, anything inside. Now you gotta be careful, okay? But it's possible there's a skinny post or a bang right here, a ten, uh, not a 10 yard in, because you gotta be afraid of this safety, all right? My dog's just barking like crazy for no reason. I don't know, there's no one around. Okay. Or a quick slant. All right. Like if you know Veer pass, okay, he could start running to the left and throw that quick slant. Or bam, bam. Okay, that, that receiver's gone. So that's the one thing I would change. I would give this guy a quick slant. Okay. And just have your regular wide zone left, outside zone left. All right. So let's play it through. Show you how it's done. I mean, look at that safety coming through. That outside linebacker committed. All right. So where, I mean, you could just add this receiver having a slant. You could even add one more guy. You could easily go a, a 90, all right, or a hitch on the outside and a seam right down the middle, okay? So now this linebacker, instead of blocking his ass, we're just going wide zone to the left. We give him a seam down the hash marks. That safety blitz, as you saw, all right? And now, I mean, <laughs> touchdown. That's definitely a touchdown. That corner's going to be held by the zero. The safety's coming up, pressuring. I mean, roll left. It's the second quarterback. I hope you could throw a wide open pass right down the middle of the field. Very easy. Backside, now you can run anything because it's a wide zone. You could add a 22 or a 12 or a bubble. Okay, they do a small screen or, or a smoke screen, which is great. Okay. But this kid has time. Look how that linebacker was aggressive. He came downhill fast. So if this tight end had a seam down the middle, who's guarding him? Okay, this is the special thing with two quarterback RPO system. Okay, like I said in the video before, or the play before, once the handoff happens, 
Defenses are coming, coming, coming downhill. All right? If a second guy in the backfield can throw the ball, has that threat of throwing the ball, okay, so now you got two guys at any time throwing the ball, okay, the defense will always be afraid. They can't be aggressive. They truly can't be aggressive. And if they want to play passive, fine. We'll run it down your throats, okay? I hope you enjoyed this high school episode, film breakdown. We got more coming this week. College football starting, more high school games, NFL preseason last week. All right, preseason week three. All right, so I hope to see you soon and enjoy this video. See you guys later. All right, next play, South Lake Carroll. Same formation, they just flip sides. All right, they're going inside zone left. They're reading it with the quarterback. They got a bubble over here, okay? Good seven, eight yard gain. All right, great, 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 great. Love it, love it, love it. Can't be mad with it, okay? Let's back up just a little more. Just show you what we could do differently, okay? If this was the second quarterback, the running back in the ball, if he was the second quarterback, a guy that could throw the ball, also run routes, all this stuff, you know what it is, all right? You've been here for a while, okay? If this was the second quarterback, what I would add, you got a tight end over here and a running back over here, all right? Since you're running inside zone left, there's two ways you could do this, okay? Either we have this tight end, still block him, and now have this second court, uh, this running back, all right? Just do a fade down the sideline. Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Because now this this corner, this safety, even these linebackers be like, oh shit, should I run with him or should I stay back? When we're still running inside zone here, all right? That, or you could flip it. You could have this tight end run the fade down the sideline, and then this running back just pick up that end on the block, okay? Doesn't change for this second quarterback. You still run inside zone, okay? If you were given the ball, now you got one or two guys running a fade or, or a pop, but more, yeah, mostly a fade, okay? So you're reading those second level linebackers, third level safeties and corners to see if they come down in order to stay back. If they stay back, fine. That's one or two less guys out of the play, okay? Linemen can still go three yards upfield. So, I mean, your coaching doesn't change on the line, all right? And then if this guy were to pull it, now this quarterback, if you're pulling, he still's got this bubble where he can run. So I didn't change anything with this play besides one guy running a route. That's it. Either the tight end or the running back in the backfield and just adding a read for this second quarterback in the backfield. Okay? Let's go another play for Highland Park. All right? We got a, a pause speed option. All right? So they're going to pause on the right and they're going to go speed option left. Okay? Now it gets blown up in the backfield. No one blocked anyone. Complete shit show. All right? I, I understand. Okay? You got to sell this way better. But anyway, this is what they could add. So, let's play it through. As you see, the pause is coming. All right, obviously. They just don't do a good job. Blocks. Pause, they miss that guy, miss that guy. 30 makes the tackle in the backfield, okay? Technically, I, so I don't know exactly how they were blocking it, okay? But more or less, that's your read guy right there, okay? You gotta get out and block this guy. So maybe, I mean, if you take an outside release, maybe, okay? You could go downfield and make sure you get one to two yards and catch his ass. Just, I mean, you got to block this guy. Okay, that was the issue here. Okay? So all you got to do is once he pitches it, add a route with this receiver. It's a fade. It's a comeback. It's an outside curl, corner, whatever you want, 10 yard out, whatever. Add this route. So now this linebacker might not be as aggressive coming downhill. This corner is out of the picture, so you don't have to worry about him. And then even this safety back here is more worried about that pass coming. We're now three guys essentially out of your play, possibly. And now this running play, you only got to worry about this linebacker, maybe still this guy, but at least, you know, two, maybe three guys are out of the picture to help with this run hit bigger, okay? Obviously, they got to block it better and stop getting their ass kicked, okay? But they can just add one route because you know, as defensive players and coaches, once the ball's handed off, you know, it's determined to run. If that option is, even when the ball's handed off, that you have a second guy that can throw the ball, that creates endless possibilities on offense. All right, one more play. Here's the last one. All right, last play. We're back, 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 back. We're back with South Lake Carroll, okay? They run way more RPOs than Highland Park, okay? Outside zone left. They're going outside zone left. You know how I love me some outside zone. All right, one guy. Just one guy has to run a route and you'll be cool. Now, since you have this receiver split out like crazy, it's pretty obvious he can't run an out or a corner. 
mean, yeah, you could run a nine, but there's still no room on the sideline. So you could run almost uh, anything inside. Now you gotta be careful, okay? But it's possible. There's a skinny post or a bang right here. A ten, uh, not a ten yard in, because you gotta be afraid of this safety. All right. My dog's just barking like crazy for no reason. I don't know. There's no one around. Okay. Or a quick slant. All right. Like if you know Veer pass. Okay. He could start running to the left and throw that quick slant. Or bam, bam. Okay. That, that receiver's gone. So that's the one thing I would change. I would give this guy a quick slant. Okay. And just have your regular wide zone left. Outside zone left. All right. So let's play it through. Show you how it's done. I mean, look at that safety coming through. That outside linebacker committed. All right. So where, I mean, you could just add this receiver having a slant. You could even add one more guy. You could easily go a, a 90, all right, or a hitch on the outside and a seam right down the middle, okay? So now this linebacker, instead of blocking his ass, we're just going wide zone to the left. We give him a seam down the hash marks. That safety blitz, as you saw, all right? And now, I mean, <laughs> touchdown. That's definitely a touchdown. That corner is going to be held by the zero. The safety's coming up, pressuring. I mean, roll left. It's the second quarterback. I hope you could throw a wide open pass right down the middle of the field. Very easy. Backside, now you can run anything because it's a wide zone. You could add a 22 or a 12 or a bubble. Okay, they do a small screen or, or a smoke screen, which is great. Okay. But this kid has time. Look how that linebacker was aggressive. He came downhill fast. So if this tight end had a seam down the middle, Who's guarding him? Okay, this is the special thing with two quarterback RPO system. Okay, like I said in the video or the play before, once the handoff happens, defenses are coming, coming, coming downhill. All right, if a second guy in the backfield can throw the ball, has that threat of throwing the ball. Okay, so now you got two guys at any time throwing the ball. Okay, the defense will always be afraid. They can't be aggressive. They truly can't be aggressive. And if they want to play passive, fine. Or run it down your throats. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this high school episode, film breakdown. We got more coming this week. College football starting, more high school games, NFL preseason last week. All right, preseason week three. All right, so I hope to see you soon and enjoy this video. See you guys later. Coach Lou.